Yo, Dave here. We are doing an unboxing today. It is a fantastic day because it is New Guitar Day. And uh, everyone loves an unboxing, right? As a guitarist, unboxings are awesome. So I thought I'd share this one. It's not a Chinese one. It is one for the collection. So I have ordered this one on Monday from a guitar shop in Australia called uh, Hayworth Guitars. They sent it yesterday and it arrived today. So extremely happy with the shipping so far. And um, let's take a look at it. All right, so as you can see, it's an Ibanez. Now half of you will hate the look of this guitar, but I'm an 80s kid and I've got a gem and I've got certain guitars and I wanted another Floyd Rose around the house. So I got this baby, let's check it out. Ah, an unboxing to an unboxing. All right, let's go again. All right, it's a little weird, it's coming in an Epiphone box. But that one was an Ibanez one over here, but I guess for postage, Dave, Popped it in another box. All right, take two. Ah, <laughs> it is so much color, so much color. This is an Ibanez Gem Junior Steve Vai in yellow. It's as bright as they come. Not the most expensive guitar, but I wanted another gem. This guy just lives in the house um, in its own case underneath my bed or in the cupboard or where I am. So this guitar here is going to be my gem that I can use. And there it is. All right, start. Nice neck, N nice and smooth neck. Exactly the same shape as this gem. This gem's a real gem, there's no Chinese one here. And again, just stating this is not from China, this is from a music store in Australia. So we're gonna take off this scratch plate, um, the plastic that's over it, because that always looks terrible. And uh, back in a second. All right, so if you have to remove a knob, rather than using pliers or something, I always like to put a bit of felt underneath it. Try and wrap it around it, and then try and lift up. And that just gets it up enough. You just use your hand. Oh, I really hate that they put plastic on before they put all the parts on. Okay, so after a little stuffing around, I finally got most of the plastic off the front. Let's take a look at it. We've got Chrome Hardware, the Gem Junior at the front, Ibanez. So Junior in this refers to it being a cheaper model, not difference in size. We've got the Vine inlay, similar to the one you can see in the back. Same shape. It's not the Evolution pickups. Uh, we wouldn't be able to tell you offhand what it is again, I've forgotten. It's an Ibanez floating trim. We have on the, uh, the back, that is where the uh, guitar input jack is. Let's just turn it around. Okay, on the back, that's our neck joint. There's our neck. Let's just get it to focus in. So with the tram system, this one's just a push in, pull out on the uh, proper one. And on the junior, you've got your little Titan with the little um, the, the screw there. So this is the two next to each other. Obviously a different type of neck wood. Uh, I'd like to say rosewood. I'm not sure what they're using on the gem juniors. It's ebony on the one on the left because it's uh, one of the older gems.
Okay, we'll do a super quick sound test just to make sure everything's working. So it's all we always do. I'm gonna tune to D tune. That's why I wanted another Floyd so I could have one in D. And this guitar is the one that if you put it in the sort of in between section, it, it cuts off the um, humbucker, turns it into a single, so you can get the strat sound. And same in the uh, second last position here, we'll change that to a single coil as well. But all your stats you can find out online. I'm not here to sell the guitar, I'm just checking it out. The fret's a bit, the, the neck's a little bit dry, we'll have to chuck something on that. But anyway, let's see. Enjoy the video.